This tutorial will give you some tips on how to read a scientific journal article. Scientific journal articles provide very current information on a research topic. They are a primary way that scientists inform others about their most recent research findings. In these research articles, scientists provide detailed information on how their research was done and what data was collected. This information allows others to try and replicate the research to confirm its findings. It also allows other scientists to compare and contrast their findings with results from other published research. This transparency in reporting results and findings is a hallmark of free and open scientific communication. Scientific research articles are usually peer-reviewed. Peer review is a means of quality control in scientific publishing. The quality is the scientific one, which consists of transparency and repeatability of the research for independent verification, and for the validity of the conclusions and interpretations drawn from the reported data. It is also used to assess overall importance of advances within a given area of research. Let's take a look at one research article. When learning how to read a scientific article, it's a good idea to break it into chunks to make it more manageable. If you are unfamiliar with scientific terms and jargon, it's a good idea to keep a scientific or medical dictionary handy. Most scientific journal articles follow the same logical scheme. They begin with a section that looks at the background to the study and an explanation of why the authors chose to do the research. Then comes an explanation of how the researchers carried out the experiment, followed by their findings and their conclusions. Here is the first page of a scientific journal article. At the very top of the page, you see some citation information. The name of the journal is the Journal of Neuroscience. We can see that the article was published in April of 2014 in Volume 34, issue number 16 of the journal. The article is on pages 5529 to 5538. Further down we see Neurobiology of Disease. This is the topic area in the journal in which this article was published. Then we see the title of the article. Cannabis use is quantitatively associated with nucleus accumbens and amygdala abnormalities in young adult recreational users. This is where having a medical or scientific dictionary can come in very handy. Let's break it down. Cannabis is another name for marijuana. Quantitatively associated with means that numerical measurements were taken and analysis of the data was done using some standard statistical practice. The nucleus accumbens and the amygdala are parts of brain anatomy. Abnormalities are things that are out of the ordinary. In medical terms, the phrase young adults has a very specific medical meaning of people who are between 19 and 24 years of age. Finally, recreational use is a phrase used to describe people who use drugs for the broad purpose of enhancing life as opposed to treating a medical condition or because of addiction. So putting all of this information together, what is this article about? The authors studied the relationship between the recreational use of marijuana in young people and the shapes or sizes of certain parts of their brains. Below the title, we see the names of the nine authors and their institutional affiliations. Next is the abstract. The abstract gives a very brief overview of why the research was done, how it was done, and what the authors found through their research. The rest of the article goes into a great deal of, of depth. In the introduction, we can see the authors lay out their reasons for doing the research in the first place. They cite a lot of other sources, including sources on marijuana use in the U.S. and what previous published research has found about the relationship, if any, of marijuana use and brain anatomy and behavioral outcomes. The last sentence of the introduction is an explanation of the need for the current research that they are reporting. The next section is called Materials and Methods. It is where the authors give a very detailed description of their procedures. These are detailed enough 
that another researcher could reproduce the work in his or her own lab using the exact same methods. The results section provides very detailed information about, about the data that was collected. Tables, graphs, and images are common ways that scientists use to convey what they found. The discussion section is where the authors reflect on the meaning of their results. The authors start by summing up their findings. They note that there is a difference between marijuana users and non-users in some physical attributes of the brains. They compare the findings of their research with other research on marijuana use in the brain. They conclude that further research should not just focus on the effects of marijuana and other drugs on the process of neurotransmission, but should also include structural changes to the brain. At the end of the article is a list of references cited by the authors. In conclusion, try to break it down. Identify each section of the research article. Look up any words you don't understand. Figure out what the purpose of the research was. Try to understand the methods that were used and the data that was collected. And see if you come to the same logical conclusions that the researchers did. Thank you for watching this tutorial.